Hi, this is Jason Yeldell with Yeldell Scientific. Today we're going to show how you can use our Excel point of sale software to recreate or reproduce a touchscreen order kiosk that you typically would see in a convenience store, such as Wawa or Quick Check. To get started, we'll go into the administrative setup menu and configure our point of sale. From here, we can give our store a name and also load in a store logo from a JPEG file that we currently have stored locally on our machine. At this point, we can see that the store logo was added to our configured Excel point of sale. And now we're ready to start adding products that we want to sell. To do this, we click on add a product from the main menu, and then we can browse to a folder location on our local machine that houses a grouping of JPEG files for each product that we want to offer for sale. The Excel point of sale will automatically load these JPEGs in each as an individual product. And from there, they're built into the system and ready for sale. As we see in this example, we had a folder on our local machine housing JPEGs for each individual item that we wanted to sell. The Excel point of sale has then loaded them in and the products will be known as the name of the JPEG. For example, eggbowl.jpg is known as eggbowl. So now if we launch the Excel point of sale in its standard mode, we can see that the POS will load in the standard way in which a cashier would handle a cash register. But we're not interested in that for this example. We want to create a self-service kiosk that's public facing. So as patrons come into the establishment, they can easily use the kiosk with limited options only to select the items and process the sale. To enable the Excel point of sale for this kiosk mode, we simply go into the administrative setting menu once again and toggle the function that says kiosk mode from a no to a yes. And now when we see that the Excel point of sale refreshes, it is now in kiosk mode. The he walks up to the kiosk, taps I'm ready, and then displays all of the items for sale. As the patron taps the items on the screen, they're automatically tallied to the left of the user interface. Now from an administrative menu, if you ever wanted to change the prices of your items, you simply go into the Excel backend to the appropriate column and then simply change the prices from there. The next time that the Excel point of sale is refreshed, the items will display with their appropriate pricing. So here we can see that the Excel point of sale has been refreshed and is in kiosk mode, and the items have been updated to reflect the updated pricing based on the entries in the backend Excel file. When the customer is ready to complete the order, they simply click on checkout, and this information is automatically sent to the back end, as well as any other systems that are running Excel point of sale on the current network. This is important because this allows you to have a true workflow. This information is automatically sent to any other computers running Excel point of sale. Therefore, this information can be looked up from a second or third machine. This allows you to have a revolving door of orders and completions of orders taking place in your establishment, all based on the Excel point of sale, keeping track of each individual order, whether it's being taken place on a kiosk or the cashier mode via their order number. Now, as a worker at the store, I can simply click on kiosk order lookup to view all orders that were made via a self-service kiosk. In this part of the workflow, the customer would present the cashier with their receipt that contains a barcode as well as the order number that can be looked up. 
the cashier will then scan the receipt, bring up the order details, and then accept payment from the customer. In this example, we see that the customer is paying with a $100 bill, their change is automatically calculated, and then we can proceed to checkout to finalize everything. At any point, the system can be returned back to public kiosk mode by again going back into the administrative settings and turning on the kiosk mode toggle from a no to a yes.